VCR party. We watch VHS tapes. We have 13,000 of them here in the office. I'm Joe. There's Nick, there's George, and there's Steve. And we have a fun episode today. This is a this is going to be a fun one. I'm excited. Yeah, it's ladies night here on VCR party. And we've invited three of our ladies, the, uh, the glue that holds VCR party and its various shows together. We have um, Laura, aka Lenora from Midnight Rental. Caitlin McGurk from the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library, uh, and she joins us on Saturday morning cartoons most Saturdays. And McKenna Mobus, who is our guru behind the scenes here at VCR Party Found Footage. It's an all star cast, all star. Yeah, they're taking over tough. the main part of the show. So uh, I think, yeah, we're just going to turn it over. And it's Women's History Month, That's... and it's high time uh, they show us what they found on VHS. The raviolis. The raviolis. Wow. 
Hey, hey, Steve, nice drop. Pretty... Want, to, want, to get, want to get one in early. <laughs> yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, there's some new ones in there too, Steve. Oh, Play around I, with I, them. I, I'm going to try to. Okay, all right. Um, hey, I got some new stuff. I was in North Carolina last weekend, and I, I thrift stores are just – they don't have yeah. VHS like they used it's to. It's really, it's really getting bad. Sign up for VHS of the Month Club, and uh, you can get VHS from our collection delivered straight to your house. But I found this one. I don't think we have this one. Joe mm -hmm. Lewis Karate Systems. It's action packed cover here. This was a you know, and, and now they're a quarter. Thrift stores are just trying to get rid of them at this point. Yeah, uh, if you can find them. But uh, so that one's pretty cool. I saw this one on the shelf. I got to get back into UFOs. Look at this one. I don't even know what this Ooh. one's about. But it's got, what's the uh, starburst say? What's in that? Uh, it's something in. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. is that? I don't want to make a guess. I'm going to say Chinese. Uh, I'll say Chinese. Yeah. Anybody okay. going? Um, this one, I definitely know what it says. It says Marsha's retirement picnic, and uh, <laughs> it's from uh, '95. How boring is a retirement picnic? Also, I think, it, I think it's '92. Yeah, it's is it '92? Okay, it's also an right. alien uh, UFO video. The, that one is. Oh, it is also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can't wait for He's that. Retiring. Put five, put, Atari. put five nine ninety two on the VCR party calendar. We'll celebrate Martha's <laughs> retirement. Marsha's <laughs> retirement from in nineteen ninety two. Oh uh, yeah. I just have one I want to show you. This is um was sent in by Bob Hedges. He knows we've been collecting like fan club videos, and it, first of all, it came in a big packet. I'll just show you the tape first. This is the X Files official fan club video. Uh, it looks like they didn't watch it all the way through. Nope. Um, but it came with this, like, Dear Fan Club member. It came with um, this order sheet to get fan fan club official merchandise, uh, like sweatshirts and things, and uh, a newsletter. Do they have, have Bornhop mugs on there? Uh, no. You have uh, the X-Files newsletter, fan club newsletter here, more alien material. We got to do that, but for Leroy Bornhop. We have to have that whole packet that somebody can order, but just for Leroy Bornhop. Okay, but yeah, look, you get a membership card here. This is the <laughs> X-Files fan club membership card, and Put that in your wallet. two stickers. Maybe we'll throw these into a VHS of the Month Club uh, subscription this uh, next month. So There we go. Anyway, this is super cool. I can't wait to go through it and see what the fan club has to offer. Thank you, Bob Hedges, for sending yeah. that in. Very nice. Very neat. Very organized. That's a that's a drop we have to have. Very neat. Very organized. Oh, from Mixie. Yes. 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 Well, let's um, get into a classic, shall we? Yeah. You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. In uh, two weeks, it is going to be the um, 20th anniversary of the Found Footage Festival, our first show. And one thing we used to do when people were coming in was play like a countdown. Remember, Joe's like 10 minutes of music. Music, music related stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we always would play the intro. It was a rap to the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, the glow. And I thought, because we have the Gorgeous Ladies of the Found Footage Festival on tonight, or GLOF, as I call them, uh -huh. uh, we'd start off by doing that old Gorgeous Ladies of uh, Wrestling intro. So mm -hmm. here it is, a Found Footage Festival classic. <laughs> Are they affiliated with WWE? Because this no. might never air. Not at all. Okay. Okay. No. Shoot. Dementia. That's it. There we go. Quite the rap. That's um, a cool rap. I always like Spike. Um, my sister and I would watch Glow back in the day. When it was like in syndication, so you had to be around on a Saturday afternoon. And I usually was. <laughs> you so, weren't busy? You weren't busy that day? <laughs> okay. During the 80s, not your, at all. Your schedule was clear then? Yeah, it was. Okay. It still is. Um, yeah. Steve, you're selling out to a fun sponsor. Let's get into that. Oh, heck Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this week, we are selling out to Heroclix. Celebrating, celebrating more than 20 years as a fun, fan-driven game, Heroclix is also an awesome miniatures collectible line with weird, wacky, and awesome minis. The Heroclix Iconics assortment has awesome new affordable displayable minis sets, including the first appearance of Wolverine, 
Iron Man's Hall of Armors, Colossal Kong, The Death of Superman, Batman's Nightfall storyline, and even memeable moments including Pointing Spider-Man, Sad Wolverine, and the Batman Slap meme. You can order Heroclix and Heroclix Iconics products at your friendly local game store or at shop.wizkids.com. And found footage festival fans can get 10% off their order at shop.wizkids.com with promo code FFF10. Um, this code covers most but not all products and does include all starter games. So, yeah, this is a really cool one that we have going on. And on top of that, and Nick, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they're going to give us some fun giveaways. Yeah, yeah, we, we're getting a bunch of these sets to give away. And Steve, wow. I thought you had a good idea about how to give these away to uh, My viewers. suggestion is we just have so many talented Melindas. It's whatever way you guys want to display a hero. It could be a drawing of uh, Doral Silversorn as your favorite, as a superhero. Maybe you want to make, uh, you know. Like with a ex- cape? With a cape. Any, any, you know, however we want to express it. But maybe you want to dress up as it. We've had amazing Halloween costumes. I feel like we're just letting people celebrate in October. This is another opportunity to get dressed up as a uh, found footage classic on footage festival cl- <laughs> classic character oh boy That's yeah so so you're you're doing the hero version of one of our vhs stars from over the years and you can send that uh, in any sorry, medium George. you want whether it's a drawing whether it's a uh <laughs> George oh yeah like a drawing of like doral silverthorne like yes, yes. Okay. Okay. or, or, or you you know, as a greek god or yeah, yeah. Or you yes. can cosplay it. Okay, so email yes. us a deadline April first, and uh, we'll give you a hero click set. That's so wait a, cool a second. So, so we have we Steve. You sold out to Marvel. Like this is the this we're turning a corner here, aren't we? Is it, are we out of the hellhole? We're we're selling out to <laughs> hero clicks, not Marvel. Uh, well, but they obviously have a, a deal with Marvel. Well, because next week um, we're, we're going to do this again, and it'll be DC. So it's not it's 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 big names. Hero clicks. Hero, hero clicks yeah. is huge. I know, but this it's is like huge. I've yeah. played that game. It's fun. Um. So yeah, thanks. That's ac- yeah, that's actually not like, hey, celebrate, you know, I don't and, know. Yeah, my- whatever medium. I think you said it, Nick, but I just want to make sure it's sent it to info at. I want to hear Nick's example. Uh, <laughs> if, uh... I don't know. My my friend does um, chip tunes about nerdy topics, and they have a band. Follow them on Bandcamp. Like that's a cool sponsor, but it's not. Hero clicks, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't have the same corporate you, structure. Exactly. Yeah. You, you want to get rid of the independent ones. You want to go for the more corporate. I'm like all Marvel corporate. Hero clicks. Yep. Okay. Not me. Each it. one, each each uh, sellout is just as important as the last. So it's like yeah. another child in yeah. your that you're holding to your. That's exactly. Um, Joe, was... Joe, what's up with funny names? You have any? I got a new one. I got a new one. Okay, here's where we're at. We have, I think we have 20 now. We have 20 funny names, you know, with a couple controversial ones. We'll see where George Harrison lands, Steve Martin lands. But um, yeah, today, this one came in, I think last week, I I held it up and I showed it. Um, But I'm going to let it be a surprise here. Um, Here's Mm. this week's funny name. I already forgot, so. (laughs) Scorchy Taws. (laughs) Uh, yeah, yes. see, we, we needed a T badly. We needed a T very badly. Sounds so. like a Hanna Barbera character. <laughs> it does. Uh, it's 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 voiced by Dawes Butler. Uh, uh. Old man think... eating? <laughs> well, <laughs> There's a I montage. I might have gone through the video and found all the old men eating and uh, <laughs> just put those parts so in. So much for ladies' night. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lady right there. She's eating. Okay, sure. <laughs> God. <laughs> and, and what he's eating there, he, he's eating a muskrat. They have this muskrat feed, and they're all eating uh. muskrats. Nick, are you vegan for muskrats? No, I will eat muskrat. Yeah, no, but, but no honey well, yes. or dairy or anything like that. Look at that. That's oh, just the okay. Kid All the right, kid, let's wait, move wait, off wait. the, the muskrat. The kid, the kid doesn't even know how to eat it. He's just like he's just kind of picking at it. He finds look at this tiny little flake he finds. He's like, I guess this is meat here. Now watch, he licks his. <laughs> I get all the muskrat. Thing. There we <laughs> go. Scorchy taws. Uh, now that's what I call scorchy taws right there. That was, that was pretty scorchy. Uh, yeah. There, we filled in the T. We finally got it. Um, 
Yeah. All right, let's get into a lady focused this week in flying windows. One of our favorite ladies and contributors to the show, Wayney from New York, uh, often sends us videos that have this trope where windows would fly by. This was a TV special uh, called the American Red Cross Quiz, and it was taped uh, off of TV. It's a really crummy copy of it, um, but it does have flying windows, and it also has, this could be a celebrity bullshit because it has a lot of celebrities in it as well. Uh, so here's uh, Wayne's find. It's the American Red Cross quiz. Hi, I'm Richard Dean Anderson. As MacGyver, I'm RDA. always getting into some kind of trouble, but somehow I managed to pull through. My secret isn't fancy high-tech equipment. It's just knowing how to use handy everyday items to get out of a jam. Yeah, we've seen like the show. the shoebox. We should all have something like it in our homes and not just for old shoes or baseball cards. It's a first aid kit. Here's what you should have in it. Band-aids for the Sweet minor whoosh. emergencies. We and for ordered. Major League Bangers, gauze pads and triangular bandages. For Major Plus League roller Bangers. roller gauze and adhesive tape to hold it all together. Scissors, tweezers, and a thermometer. I don't think for cleaning those wounds, all you really need fly. is a bar of soap. You'll also need a few over-the-counter drugs. Aspirin yeah, or acetaminophen for fever or pain antacid for upset stomach and it's a good idea to have anti-diarrhea medication around in have case you ever of poison, seen flying diarrhea you have syrup of no, to induce vomiting and activated charcoal to neutralize just, the poison it's just endless. but remember to call your local poison control center or 911 first keep your first aid kit someplace handy but out of reach of children continuing with the home safety portion of the test here's question number six a friend is hooking up your new video cassette recorder. The Mr. area Roku? behind the TV is a jumble of extension cords no, all it... connected to one outlet. Suddenly there's a flash and your friend spasms and falls to the ground. If you answered B, add another five points. I mean, it's endless celebrity <laughs> cameos in this. And uh, yeah, I'll, we'll do it as, as a celebrity bullshit. But thank you, Wayney, for some great flying first aid kit windows. Um, did, did I tell you who's that last guy? What's that guy's Michael Landon? Michael Landon, yeah. Yeah, did I tell you I was walking down the street like I don't know a few months ago, and a homeless guy was on the street. He goes, "Hey man, you look exactly like uh, the guy from a Little House <laughs> on the Prairie." And oh. I was like, "Michael Landon?" And he goes, "Yes." He told me I look like Michael Landon. I thought he meant the guy who walks around with Michael Landon on Highway to Heaven. You know, there's like the big beard, oh, the other oh. angel. Yeah. yeah, that might have been him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I think that's who he's talking about. Because he, he wore a hat, I think. I don't look like I look more like Landon than I do the other guy. I don't know. Don't that I? guy wore a hat. <laughs> it's true. He did wear a hat. He did wear, and I was wearing a hat, probably. <sighs> well, well, if I see him out there again, I'll ask him to clarify. Well, this debate will go on and on. And here to continue it with us are three of our favorite ladies. We've got uh, Caitlin. McGurk from the Billy hey. Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum. Hello, We've got, hello. Uh, McKenna Mobus from the Found Footage Festival offices. Hello. And we have L Laura Wimbles from. Whoa. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh. Hello, everybody. We've Whoa. interrupted you. <laughs> Just being a woman, yes. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> ladies, ladies will be ladies. <laughs> Well, um, I'm, all right. I'm excited to see what you've got cooked up for uh, the main segment of the show, and uh, we're just going to hop off and let you do your thing. All right. More right. like VCR party, right? VCR yeah. party. Wow. VCR party. Yeah. Yes. You fucked up with the Gloff thing, but I like it. It was a good <laughs> yeah, so. You've already made the show better. All right. <laughs> let's get into show us your raviolis. <laughs> Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us 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 your raviolis. Amazing. Oops, all estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> so who's up first? Laura, are you kicking I, Yes, I believe I am. I have forgotten all of the order in which my uh segments are in but uh what i am showing tonight are a bunch of i love tapes that have 
been recorded off of the television because I was a child without cable. So growing up, uh, the VCR was um, like a, you know, fourth family member because we depended on that to record one of the four channels that we had. So I have a really great uh, oh, yeah. June television broadcast, which oh, I, I did not realize um, until I was bringing this in. And this was recorded off of... Um, Channel 43, that the Dune television broadcast is an Alan Smithy. David Lynch, uh, was, he hated the broadcast edit of it. So oh. Alan, Alan, he put Alan Smith. Do you guys, are you familiar with that, the Alan Smithy credit where if a director doesn't want anything to do with it, they just uh, sub in Alan Smithy. Right. So um, I have a smattering of commercials that I thought were just charming from that tape and several others in my never ending quest to digitize all of my recorded off TV tapes of which I have way too many. They'll be here long after I'm dead, but um, someone will inherit them. <laughs> Amazing. So this is, how old were you when you were recording this? Um, God, so we, I mean, I remember having, I remember my dad, my dad worked at the Ford Motor Plant and he came home with a VCR one day and he said he got it for, for a very good deal from someone at work. And so, I mean, we had a VCR in the house from probably the time I was like four or five. So um, that was like my earliest experience with learning technology. And I, that was one of the first things I learned how to do was program the VCR. So I was always recording stuff, but um, Dune... I don't know. I, I have no I idea. What year it's from. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to see some local Cleveland stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, is Steve's doing these, right? He's putting them Friday on the adventures of there. Briscoe Cotton oh. Jr. <laughs> Briscoe lands in a town inhabited only by women. There's something you don't see every day. But what looks like paradise turns into an all out battle of the sexes. What is that thing? Catch an all new Briscoe County Jr. Well, that was then Bruce Camp. Two agents. That was Bruce Campbell, who, do you remember it? Does anyone remember that show, The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr.? No. Uh, it lasted one season. And so that was advertising, you know, the the show. And then look at what the next series premiere would follow it. Now, which one do you think lasted longer? Stare to unlock mysteries hidden in the FBI's most secret files. <laughs> do you believe in extraterrestrials? The X-Files series premiere <laughs> after Briscoe County Jr. Friday. Adventures of Bristol County Jr. to yeah to the X Files, which would go on for many many seasons. But um, and then I love I also love TV bumpers, the real quick like uh, twelve to fifteen second teasers of TV shows. So that's what some of these other ones are. After Briscoe County Jr. Friday, they were divorced during the span of our relationship, and. Um, he also had three stepchildren that were older. Why are so many old men getting involved with young women next, Donnie? Today, <laughs> never ending question. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> it's the circle of life. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I don't remember what's up next, so it's going to be a surprise. Dottie dated a criminal, and then she fixed up the rest of the family with convicts. Meet a whole family who dates convicts on the next Oprah. Monday at four on TV Five. Now, have any of you ever dated a convict? Unfortunately, no, McKenna. No, but that seems like uh, that family is all of the girls I went to high school with. Right. I wish they had their own show. Yeah. No. Hey, where did you go to high school? What What city, McKenna? Uh, Bolivar, Missouri. Oh, is yeah, that middle is that of a, nowhere? A highly concentrated. Now, is it a highly concentrated crime criminal content <laughs> because it's in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, probably. Okay. I There's think not a lot to do other than crime. <laughs> I, I think probably some of the people I've dated would have been convicts, but they just got away with it. So um, <laughs> whatever they were doing. <laughs> now, the next one, uh, the next one's really I had completely forgotten about this commercial. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, this was on all the time. What a beautiful Sealy mattress. I'm not a mattress. I'm a waterbed. Well, you look like a mattress. I'm a Sealy waterbed light out. I'm filled with water for warm support. And if you buy this weekend, I'm just $3.99 with all this free. If I buy a Sealy waterbed, I get all that free? If you buy a Sealy waterbed. Warm, comfortable. And a Sealy for just $3.99? Not just a mattress, a waterbed. I'm a Sealy waterbed. Sealy waterbed's $3.99 and all this free. This weekend at Waterbed Emporium. Killing the Sandman sent you. 
Now that was a very popular uh, slogan. Tell him the Sandman sent you. I don't. Did you have that in Columbus, Caitlin? So I I didn't grow up in Ohio. Well, so if it's local, I'm not yeah. familiar. But I did love that, and I kind of feel like she sounded like she was trying to seduce the the mattress face. You know, the, yeah. the man who lives or the the them that lives inside of the mattress. Uh, so now, you know, I she was wearing like fishnets and shorts maybe while laying on that bed and. You know, I feel like yeah. commercials used to be a lot sexier. Um, I I don't know, uh, but yeah. but did either of you have experience with a water bread, a water bread, a water bed growing up? Well, there was a goth girl who I used to sneak out to go to clubs with all the time when I when I was growing up, and she had a water bed, and sometimes I slept over her house on that water bed. Otherwise, Nick is the only person I know that's ever owned one. Otherwise, that's that's crazy. My uh, friend growing up, her older brother had a water bed, and his room was in the basement, and he was never home because he was he was older. He was always out with friends, so we would watch cable tv in the basement and the water bed i mean it was like it was not one of those newer water beds where it's like very you can't openly tell it's a water bed this was like you could slap it and it would be rippling like it was um it was very i, I don't know I, I don't know if it was one of the cheap ones or what but you could jump on one end and pummel someone else off the other if they were sitting on it <laughs> yeah Oh, now this next one, I saw a brief glimpse of it, so I know what it is. This is one of my favorite. It's a ridiculous soap opera advertisement. I put it in my live shows every every single time because I just, I love it so much. They were lovers who were given a second chance. I haven't even told you yet how much I love you. <laughs> I was beginning to think that you'd forgot. Has fate decided to take it away? It was an accent just like this that made him lose his memory. Do you think he's going to get his memory back? I've just got to face the possibility that, that I'm going to lose Jim forever. Loving weekdays. Loving is a great fall. Yeah. Great fall. <laughs> Amazing. I never, I never really got into soap operas. There was one that my mom and I, during one summer, uh, it was like summer in middle school. It was only a half an hour long. I can't remember. It was absolutely insane. Like the plot line was totally off the rails. And we got into it for a very short amount of time. Um, I can't remember the name of it, though. So pointless story. But the next, the next uh, commercial coming up is a movie tie-in with uh, Big Dairy. You'll see. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Willow, and only Kraft can take you there with this exciting Willow poster. It's free at participating stores when you buy any two Kraft cheese products. So come, share in the adventure of Willow with Kraft. Why do people borrow? Uh, yeah, we need to find that poster. Yeah. Does, any, does oh, anyone definitely. have the Willow Kraft cheese poster? I wish. That's great. <laughs> Uh, the next one is a local jewelry store where uh, there are no qualifications to get money at all. They'll Apparently, uh, he'll just hand you cash if you so much as ask because um, they make it as easy as possible. Why do people borrow on their jewelry at Volks instead of going to a bank? At a bank, you need credit. At Volks, you don't. At a bank, you need a job. At Volks, you don't. At bank, you need to fill out a lot of papers. At Volks, you don't. At a bank, you may wait days for an approval. At Volks, two minutes. Cash fast, don't go to a stranger. See me, Bert K. At Volks, 417 Prospect, right downtown. Jackie Collins with her new book, Lady Boss, is joined by real life lady bosses. Diane von Furstenberg, success by design, and Essence Magazine's Susan Taylor. Women are a nightmare to work for. They like to take that spike tail and dig it in your back as deep as they can. Let me check your back. You got <laughs> I got scars to prove it. Yes. Lady bosses on the next Oprah Winfrey show. Just like us. Uh, yeah, Monday at four I would like to point five. out, uh, sir, he had like the Coke Zero of mullets. Did you notice that? Right, like, yeah. Little, like <laughs> no. That guy's not a trusted source. <laughs> <laughs> Now his boss said he couldn't have the full mullet. That's why she's, that's why he hates her so much. <laughs> yeah. He also kind of looked like baby Rob Schneider. Ugh, he was, he was no. getting that a little bit. Um, I have no idea. What's next. 
We'll just be a surprise for all of us. <laughs> oh, timely, holiday wise. We're Leprechaun Lots. We're right for you. No need to take the time. We'll do it for you. We'll make those weeds go and help your lawn grow. We are the lawn pros. All over town. We're Leprechaun Lots. We're Leprechaun Lots. We're Leprechaun Lots. We're Leprechaun Lots. So that was from a tape, uh, not Cleveland. That was from a, a collection I got from someone in Cleveland. It was uh, Topeka, Kansas. He had hmm. said he used to live in Topeka, Kansas. So I have a, a half of a box full of Topeka, Kansas tapes, but uh, that was on there. And I forgot to share it on, Le uh, I almost said Leprechaun Day, St. Patrick's Day. So <laughs> we're seeing it today. Better late than never. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That was just a taste of some commercials, and then I have some more later. But um, yeah, perfect. All Who's right. next? Well, I've got a series of my some of my favorite women from past Found Footage Fest shows. Um, so we've got we've got Rue McClanahan, we've got <laughs> D. I mean, she's we couldn't leave her out. Uh, Angela Lansbury and uh, Phyllis Diller. So. I'm so excited, and one of their vibes is way different than the others, and I think we'll see that. Okay. Be prepared to be entertained and delighted. Dee Gruning has been creating original scrapbooks and memory albums since she was a little girl. Oh, hello. I'm so happy you could join me. Hi, I'm Rue McClanahan. And I'm excited about having the opportunity to host this video about the care and loving of dogs. <laughs> Making marvelous memories with rubber stamps. This video is for all you stampers who have not yet begun to put stamping with your photos. more about turning trash into cash than me. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> so too, what happens when they don't get adopted? Well, the shelters are forced to destroy them at that point. I love that she's just interpretive. <laughs> she's doing interpretive moves into this pad and get it loaded. Now watch this. Ah! I did, oh, I am sorry. But this is exciting. Look at this color. Oh! Never ever go into a dog's ear where you can't see. Only treat the area you can see. Sorry, the area you can't man. see is the, <laughs> yeah. is the province of the veterinarian. <laughs> things you can possibly do to enhance the appeal of your sale items the most important is cleanliness take a bath <laughs> yes all i want to say at the end is i want you to take your ordinary album and make them extraordinary and do it with passion thanks for coming by I know your garage sale will be as successful as mine. I find dogs themselves <laughs> pretty funny. That's part of why I love them. What isn't funny is when people mistreat them. It doesn't make any sense to me. I hope you and your dog have a wonderful life together. There are lots of things that I haven't had a chance yet to do in my life. I have so much to look forward to. And so do you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Kitty cats everywhere. <laughs> that was amazing. Please. That was so good. Well done, dude. Also, Phyllis Diller. Wow. Here's a woman. Yeah. It's incredible. I I want to be like both like her and just like Angela vibing. 
totally. in her house. Yeah, with no like with, with just daylight, like all natural light <laughs> yeah. in your house at all times. <laughs> Phyllis Diller's actually from Ohio, Laura. So we can oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, she's from Lima. So oh, man, yeah. her hair. If I I want to learn how to get my hair that big, I know it's it's a lot of hairspray. <laughs> I'm just man, I don't have that patience, but it is incredible. Truly. Uh, so I guess I'm up. So um, I'm going to give a, a lot of information up front so that we can watch uh, this weirdness all the way through. But to uh, to explain a little about what I'm going to show and why, um, you know, I'm typically on the Saturday show, the kids show, the family show, if you will. But now that I'm on uh, found footage after dark, I wanted to diversify my my brand a little, show some adult content. So I'm showing uh, some porn. I'm, uh, you know, uh, I support going this. for it. Uh, but it is specifically comics history related porn. Um, so basically I inherited, I'm not a big VHS collector, but I did inherit a, a trove of VHS porn from a famous underground comics artist uh, whose name I will not mention. And among uh, the many tapes that I've gone through in this in this trove uh, is, is this, this film um, that is called Up in Flames. It's from 1978. Um, the title of it, <clears throat> Um, is supposed to be a play on uh, the Up in Smoke uh, Cheech and Chong movie, um, but it's basically an unauthorized adaptation of underground comics characters. Uh, Mr. Natural, who most people are pretty familiar with, created by Robert Crumb. If you don't know him by name, you might know like the Keep on Trucking sticker um, or, you know, any of his style is pretty recognizable, but uh, Mr. Natural is his character that has the really big beard and he's kind of a wise old man. And the other characters that are in it um, are the fabulous furry Freak Brothers, which was like one of the longest running uh, underground comics. It was in a, a couple of different comic books. It was adapted as a comic strip for underground newspapers. It was in Playboy for a long time, I think, and continued from the 70s into the 90s. Ah, thank you, Steve. So, um, so here is some uh, some images for those for those unfamiliar of those for people unfamiliar. Um, so this uh, Open Flames uh, porn from 1978 uh, basically is a parody using these specific characters for God knows what reason, and uh, the um, the guy who plays Mr. Natural is also the director of this uh, porn. His name, his actual name is Johnny Seaman, S-E-E-M-A-N, <laughs> real name. Uh, in fact, there's an incredible uh, article about him in a 2018 issue of Esquire magazine and about his his history. He was considered uh, the most famous stunt cock of all time. So he was the guy they could bring in when other people couldn't get the job done. I think uh, they're playing at the grog shop next week. Stunt cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, so he, you're going to see him playing Mr. Natural um, as well as three to me, to me, unidentified guys who play the fabulous furry freak brothers. The idea behind the porn, since we're not watching the actual porn parts, we're only going to see little clips of it, is that uh, the fabulous furry freak brothers are living in an apartment building that's falling apart. They can't pay the rent. And in order to try to make ends meet before they lose their apartment, they all, all three of them try to go out and find various jobs, <laughs> one of whom tries to get a job working for Mr. Natural at a ma natural food store. Uh, <laughs> one of the other famous characters from the Furry Freak Brothers uh, that's pretty well known is Fat Freddy's cat. Um, Fat Freddy's is one of the brothers and his cat is a uh, normally a big orange cat. And in this one, it is not a big orange cat, as you will see. But uh, but there is a cat present in it anyway. Um, there's lots of filth in it. In fact, it ends in a filth corner uh, just for just for Joe. And so uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll I might pause throughout and add some more, but otherwise we can just uh, let it roll and uh, yeah, discuss the end. <laughs> Not orange. All right, Freak Brothers, I know you're in there. Open up. Today's the last day for the rent. Pay up or get out by sundown tonight. You turkeys hear me in there? Pay up or back out by sundown. 
<laughs> okay, wait, Steve, pause it. So I should mention that this is another woman who lives in this apartment building. She, you know, is uh, involved in their various schemes. And um, she's also trying to make ends meet to pay the rent. And uh, yes, proceed. <laughs> I'll be around later to collect rent. Those freak brothers better come up with some front money. Hey, hey, hey check it out. You paid for this? Yeah, yeah. Hey, check it out. Hey, what can I get a job like this? Check a groovy job, man. Easy, man. Mr. Natural down at the health food store. Mr. Natural? Yeah, he's down there. I don't know what I'm That's doing. That's Don Seaman. <laughs> I can't believe it. Everyone else in my sales force is selling these things like hotcakes. It's simple. The easiest way to sell these products is to sell me, Mr. Natural. You know, in two weeks, I'm going to be 82 years old. And I'm fit as a fiddle. I think it's about time to do what comes naturally for Mr. Natural. Well, is the door locked? And the drapes closed? It's okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. Whenever I feel that I'm not like 100% together, when I, I just don't quite have it, I come over here and I stare in this mirror. I look myself right in the eye and I go, confidence. 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 And then I got it. I can lick the world. Just now you're going to try it. The speed. <laughs> they call me Fat Freddy. Fat Freddy. I hate fat people. Fucking cigarette butts they throw in here. So I got no begin the filth corner. Hey, Fat Freddy, play some tunes. I can't believe this is working out. Yeah, a month with no rent. Can we get rid of this boy? What's going on, man? I can't shit in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, amazing. Again, like Fat Freddy's cat is normally what Joe would call a showbiz cat. He's part of the long lineage of orange cats, but in this is black and white. The part that happened right before they showed him saying that the cat was shitting in the headphones is uh, a very long scene of him collecting half-drank beers that have cigarettes in them and filtering the cigarette butts out in order to amass one drinkable beer <laughs> that he then drinks from. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so obviously we got rid of all the, the fucking, but hopefully people got something out of, of watching that. <laughs> oh. No, that was that was awesome. I have, There's so many good things in there. Uh, one, who which one of us is going to go as the woman cutting the weed with the oregano <laughs> for Halloween? Because that was a, uh, that's a perfect costume. We could just put on a leather jacket, a skirt, and then carry around around to uh what's that brand that spice brand mcmillan spices of totally. you know yeah. the, the shirt the the shirt that said good stuff on it so when you spray the trash can yeah there's another shirt that says something like just call me dan for some <laughs> reason and um i you know there's a there's a toilet in the middle of their kitchen there's uh there's a lot going on there and i just i i appreciate how specific this porn parody is. So happy to share it. What you know, I, I commend you. I commend you for showing that because that 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 takes that takes guts. And I um I made the choice. Uh, Caitlin, you saw at the uh the last leg of the tour, I included bits of the no pun intended John Bobbitt porn parody. Right. Which right. he started. Now, arguably, without question, uh John Bobbitt's a total piece of shit, but I had to show the some of the filler stuff because it is just the most ridiculous uh, porn parody, w abysmal acting, but there's like all these cameos in it and it is, it's so bad, but um, it's, I also feel like a porn, an entire porn parody show would be great. That's what like, I, that's, you know, we should we do were that. Talking about, <laughs> let's do it because I was talking about that with Joe and Nick because there was, there was one part that they made me cut out because there's uh, a scene in the hospital where the nurse like, touches john on the outside i mean it's through his hospital gown but they're like you know that's kind of it's starting to get sexual and i'm like oh now we have morals you guys <laughs> urinated on stage your show live show is full of dicks but uh, uh, all right all right so we, we cut that out but i would love to do 
a porn parody, uh, we should do it. That And that would be great because if we as women are doing it, we're, yes. we're taking the power back, you know? Right. There you go. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is it? So I think, do you have more uh, clips to show? Well, yeah, I think, um, so I think it's ending with, I had a bunch of, uh, who remembers when they would run PSA bumpers? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I found it was a huge chunk on one tape of all of the glorious PSAs from like 1982. Um, this was a tape that I think was my, it might've been my sister's 90210 tape. I have, I have several of those. Um, so that it might have been, might have been from that. I can't remember. It all, it all starts to blur together. But if anyone, just as advice, if people like watching or uh, collecting recorded off of TV tapes for the commercials, some tips I can give: look for soap opera tapes that people will sell or give away on marketplace or on eBay. Um, soap opera tapes are great to get commercials from because most women would set them to record while they were at work. So. There's nothing worse than getting a TV tape and then finding that someone was dutifully at the remote pausing the VCR to skip the commercials. You want the ones where the person said it and forget it, like a Ronco uh, infomercial. But right. um, so, yeah, this next block is full of PSAs and I can't remember what else. I don't know. <laughs> Coming up this week on the Morning Exchange, we'll be live from Geauga Lake with singer Gloria Loring, fun house host J.D. Roth and lots of fun. Also this week, what do you do if you love the man but you hate his friends? Linda Hirsch has soap news for you Been and there. will teach you to make a killer antipasto. This week on The Morning Exchange. Okay, pause. So The Morning Exchange, this is this is super, super important to me. Um, the Morning Exchange, I'm sure where you guys grew up, you had your like morning news magazines. That's what The Morning Exchange was. And this little dewdrop right here is Fred Griffith. And he... <laughs> He was revolutionary in TV, though. He was on air for, I think, more than 50 years. And he was such a household staple. And if you, OK, so if you grew up in a house where your parents were divorced, you kind of collected your own TV dads. And that was that was me. My parents got Aww. divorced very early on. So Fred Griffith, along with uh, Dan Connor <laughs> and Michael Gross were uh, some of my TV dads and Fred Griffith is the coolest in the world. But I not too long ago found a morning exchange mug nice. at a resale shop in Cleveland and I almost started crying. I was so happy. But um, yeah, I don't know what's next. It might be more morning exchange. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> There isn't any one thing that tells people when their personal finances are out of control. Gradually, debt colors everything in their lives. Creditors see it too, and everyone pays for it in higher prices. But there is a way out of the red. Consumer Credit Counseling Service helps people solve their debt problems, and everybody looks better in the black. He's so proud. $2,000 <laughs> shopping spree and tickets to Heart's Desire. Watch Morning Exchange. Classic one right here. It's yours? No, I... Your mother said she found it in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys must... Must have what? <laughs> Look, Dad, it's Where not... Where did you get it? Dad, Answer I... me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? <gasps> I learned it by watching you. Yes. Parents who use drugs <laughs> yes. are children who use drugs. <laughs> One out of every 10 Ohioans has some kind of disability, and over 600,000 are of the employable age. And there are many good reasons for employers, just like you, to hire people with disabilities, including tax credits. There for it more is. information, <laughs> call the <laughs> Social Services Commission at 216-622-3399 or 1-800-282-4536. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. When you volunteer for Compere, you have to be a friend to a fragile person. A person who's receiving Ugh. therapy but still feels alone, like oh. no one is there and nobody cares. So when you're there, for one hour every week, you can bring a fragile person something beautiful. A real friend. If you can give one hour a week, be a good egg. Call Compere. Wait, what was that a commercial for? It was a commercial for um, uh, volunteering to be someone who would listen to someone else. 
Like just, someone like a, almost like a, that's a job, a volunteer therapist from an unqualified person to wow. someone who's needing someone to talk to. Yeah, I that can only go. <laughs> Yeah, that seems also very Midwestern to me. <laughs> like, it's not a suicide hotline, right? It was just like, just be nice to somebody for just, a little just while. Listen to um, bring a casserole. Uh, who knows what kind of advice you're going to provide? You might yeah. make your situation worse, but uh, be a yeah. good egg. Listen to a very long story that goes on for a really long time. Yeah, and very, I have been. Midwestern. I've been all uh, of the egg faces. I, I felt like all emotions were adequately represented in that commercial. Mm -hmm. But damn it, if that is not creepy. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the eyes especially, you know? Yeah. Don't let time slip through your hand. You never have that moment back again. Cleveland kids are learning. It's cool to say no. We do have a choice. I'm a leader, not a follower. Now, I think that you should just say yes. I'm a huge proponent of just saying yes. Say yes to everything and uh, figure it out later. I thought that. <laughs> Is that, do you know who that was? Because there's like a police officer rock band that existed in Ohio and might still be around. I think they're called Hot Pursuit. I have their record and it's, they sing songs like that. That might've been them. When I first stumbled upon it again, I was like, oh my God, if he only had a mustache, that could have been the Michael Stanley band, but it's not. But I... <laughs> I completely forgot about Hot Pursuit. Right. Remember that totally. I'm going to look up photos um, and see if that is Hot Pursuit because that would be amazing. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and that would go hand in hand with, I'm sure, their D.A.R.E. programming. Since right. Cops. But um, this uh, next morning exchange commercial, um, I, Fred Griffith, he's he's a saint in my eyes, but I, I, I sense a little sexual tension here. Tell me if okay. you... Opera Zodiac. And does being in a monogamous relationship mean that it has to be monotonous? Has the passion disappeared from your marriage? We'll find out how to return to those days of lust and longing and dispel those myths about boring relationships. And we'll talk with a children's astrologer who has some insight into what the future holds for your kids. We'll also find out about new schedules for immunizing your little ones. Plus, we're going to give away a ton of stuff on the Monday Morning Exchange. Join us at 9. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Hello. She, she was looking at him when he was talking about uh, sexual relationships. I don't right. know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the lust is still there. <laughs> so. Fred Griffith unfortunately passed away in 2019 at the age of 90, and he was a pillar of the Cleveland community. So um, I have some. I have a couple other good Fred Griffith uh, commercial spots, and he's just he's a lovely human being. He seems so. like a great choice for a, a TV dad. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand why you'd pick him. <laughs> from from porno parodies to TV dads to. Uh, Phyllis Diller and anti-drug PSAs and sad eggs. I don't think that you could have had a better potpourri grab bag than having us take over. So right, <laughs> women are not one-dimensional characters. Clearly, no. so yeah, we no. did it. Yeah, you guys, well done. We covered every aspect of the the female experience tonight. We yes. did it, guys. <laughs> Thirty cents on the dollar. You got you got that money's worth. <laughs> right. Well, that's been raviolis. Yeah, those are Ravinelli's. Charles are Ravinelli's. Charles are Ravinelli's. Oh, boy. Wow. I love Bravo. Lots of notes. I have lots of notes. Um, can I just, first of all, the, the, the porn show, it's green lighted. It's green lit. <laughs> it's done. That would be the most popular show ever created on the internet <laughs> if you did that show. Wow. No, but I love it because we have so much. Nick and I did that project for True TV where we took the non-sex parts from pornos. Yeah, I was thinking uh, about that. It yeah. was a dream job, and it's so much fun, except for the actual uh, porn part. Uh, you know, that I mean, it gets a little old after a while. But, like, but, comparing it to, like, what they're actually parodying it and, like, you know, looking at the similarities and the extreme differences is pretty fun. It could be academic. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. All right. So green light on that. Um, Laura, the leprechaun lawns, you got to send me that afterwards because we got our toe tapping tournament next week. And that <laughs> was a toe tapper. Yeah. I was earmarking that as well. 
we're going to have to fight over that one. Uh, I love the lady who wanted to bone the mattress. Uh, that commercial, that was one of my favorites. Um, Caitlin, thank you for the filth. The filth was uh, much appreciated. Yeah. I felt like that whole set, set was filth. Like every single scene was filth. I think just the 70s in general was filth. Yeah. Don't you think? Mean, and filth is for ladies too. You know, mm -hmm. ladies exactly. love filth. Well. Exactly. And then what I just throw in the porn, think how much more filth there's going to be there. I mean, there's so All much right. filth there. Wonderful filth. And then uh, McKenna, fantastic work with the, <laughs> with the edits. Uh, no, masterful. Edit. You're, you're, already, you're already a master. You already know, like, dude, how this feels like funny. This feels like Master Chef. You're like going and, and like <laughs> critiquing everybody on, on, on yeah. their, their uh, but aren't they, uh, thank you for validating us, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just saying I, just, I wrote down notes and I just wanted to give my feedback here. But um McKenna, the um um you have exciting news with the with the Bornhop thing. Right? With oh. uh, so Leroy Bornhop, you talked to him last week. Everybody knows who Leroy Bornhop is, right? Huh. Household name. Yeah. Yes, celebrity bowler Leroy Bornhop. Uh, so he's from Missouri. So I started stalking him on the internet. <laughs> I was um, trying to go to a close up of McKenna. Sorry, McKenna. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, so I found him on the internet. I was able to get a hold of him. Uh, I've talked to him. He's so excited to watch bowling videos with Nick and Joe. Um, right. He's excited oh, after yes. he was first suspicious and hesitant. Um, He's never going to fall for a bowling base phone scam. No. Okay. So he was, okay. So he was skeptical, confused. But then once you explained it to him that we're big fans because of the Budweiser uh, invitational. Yes. Then he was like, okay, I'll talk to them. So we have Bornhop, right? We've got Bornhop. Yes. Well we done, Bornhop. McKenna. That's yes. another huge guest in our uh, roster. So he'll yeah. be on a, a future show. But uh, thank you for coming on, um, Laura McKenna and Caitlin. That was an amazing, wonderful uh, open invitation to come back. George has a little game show if you want to stick around for it. Do you, are you willing to do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. And there's a new intro we made because George has his own corner now on VCR Party. So I made a little intro. Let's roll that, Steve. What is it? It's 250 pounds of lovable trouble named George. George, will you get out of my bed and go downstairs? It's George by George. You'll want to bring the whole family to see George. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so cute. It's way too Thank cute. You. Yeah. That was adorable. George, how many times have you heard, George, get out of my bed? <laughs> I, I hate my name. Because, <laughs> not, what? Because that's I, the best part about you. <laughs> George you know, is a great name. Every time anybody says my name, it sounds like they're yelling at me. That's how I interpret it. Does it sound too formal to you? Yeah. Oh, somebody did send me an I've seen George button, by the way. I, I don't know who that was. But what, um, if, what if we called you Big J instead? Or Big G? Like, <laughs> Big J. Let's call him Big J. Yeah. Let's call him Big J. I really think I'm a stoner. Yes, Big J is your new name. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I have a game show that I hope you're all ready to play. Uh, it involves seeing a short clip and assessing whether it comes from a corporate film or whether it's pornography. And it's something I call <laughs> corporate film or pornography. Okay. Ready? See, this, could, this could be a oh, great yeah. segment in the porn show. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes. This could've was done, not easy, though, to go Could have done it without the moan at the end, but otherwise... Oh. Uh... oh, no. We need more moaning. Okay. All right. <laughs> Every moan adds an extra like. All right. That's the YouTube rule. Um, okay. All right. Go on. Okay. So, clip one. That's Joker Man for you, Joe. That's fine. Thank you. Like you shouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> Are we just yelling out? Is anyone out there? No, you, I'll we'll stop. There you are. Thought I couldn't see you, huh? Well, I can. <sighs> okay. Is that a corporate film or is that pornography? Oh, corporate. Corporate. Me. corporate. I'm going corporate, corporate too. Yeah. yeah. Everybody Did says corporate. Say porn? No, I'm, go I'm going. I'll go porn just so. Uh, yeah. Just. I feel like that lie. song wasn't licensed, so it feels <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Well, let's see. What's the best way to maximize your store's cigarette sales and profits? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Allocate your space properly. It could still be porn. And it could still be porn. Your best-selling brand. <laughs> this video has been given to you by the <laughs> uh, They had a budget, of course. <laughs> All right.
right. Okay. Clip two. There are three clips. Okay. okay. Mm. Barn. Yeah, the music. Lubricate means to make smooth or slippery, but it can also mean to apply a lubricant. <laughs> well, uh, I feel like Nick, you, you already said porn. You already right, said porn. All right, all right, I'm locked in. I, I want it to be porn. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for porn for this one. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I got to go corporate film though. Yeah. I, Although yeah. you're right, I do want it to be porn. Bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like this will be a good flip, like a good trick clip. Mm. But I'm gonna go with corporate okay <laughs> lubrication is vital to the efficient and dependable operation of all types of machinery because it's so important for efficient plant operation lubrication is a subject to discuss in detail that's from the nus corporation Ah, uh, yes, NUS. Now, what if that felt pornographic to me? Who's to yeah. define? <laughs> yeah, like, right. It wasn't intended to be. It's not in the eye of the beholder, or else, or else like, Jeopardy so would be very then? different. Why was he dressed so sexy, then? Exactly. He was practically <laughs> poured into that khaki shirt. You could ask the same about me, but I dress like this because it's ladies' night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last clip. Joker man poured out. That's Frisbee fuckers too. That's now, Frisbee I was about to say, get the Frisbees <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Frolf. Frisbee, Frolfer, Golfer, Fuckers, mm. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but could it be an Exxon? I feel like it could, there were some Exxon tankers in the background. Uh, <laughs> and I I, corporate just for to play spoiler here. It's porn, yeah. because even as a woman, and I don't know what they're saying, I can tell that they were making lewd remarks about those women. Unless right. it's an HR corporate thing. Mm. No, oh, that's what I'm going to say. I, yeah, I'm going to steal porn. that. I'm going to say corporate. I'm going to say right. it's that. All right, here we go. Porn. Lach mal. <laughs> Und noch eins. <laughs> oh, this new frisbee! Oh! Wow, <laughs> wow. Oh, great title. It. It's great the title. same font, yes. same company, Color Climax Productions. Uh, and <laughs> we got I a new frisbee on our hands. Yeah, if, if anybody wants a young arse lover's frisbee. Oh, uh, I got some friends yes. who want that, yeah. I don't know if you have a, a frisbee by demand. Uh, oh well, I feel well. Frisbee fuckers that lends itself to a frisbee. What would young arse lovers like? Uh, jeans, maybe they'd yeah, be on jeans. the jeans on the maybe back of the jeans. Make right. a line of denim. Yeah, young arse lovers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's um, that's the first installment of corporate film or, porno or pornography. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, you didn't like the yeah, moans. Slight <laughs> notes. We got corporate sponsors. Now. And Nick, you didn't uh, like <laughs> you didn't like when Laura had the uh, dirty part in the. Uh, uh, in the uh, John Wayne Bobbitt, it was uh, the touching part. part I thought maybe was a little. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen your show? <laughs> I haven't actually. I heard there's a game show about corporate porn. Or we have morals now. What is this? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we we have double standards. That's that's how we function. I get so, it, Wisconsin. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yep. uh, I am so sorry. We're lucky to have you all. Oh, by, by the way, thanks to uh, Big J there. I changed your name on the. Um, Oh, okay, good. Uh, put him on. Put him on close up there, so we can see. This is a Big J from here on out. This is your name. This is your game show name. Is Big J. All right. All right. Someone screenshot that. that. Yeah. My uncle says one eight hundred lasagna from Joe's birthday when I called. Oh, him. Said, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, oops. <laughs> can um, I can I say one thing before we take? Yeah. Off? Um, I it's real quick, but I want to give a big VCR party live. Thank you. Okay. Uh, two found footage viewers and midnight rental viewers sent this to me in the mail and my stepfather passed away last week. So when I opened this, believe me when I say I was crying, they sent me, Brianna and Jason sent me a tales from the crypt cast and crew jacket. No way. Wow. Wow. And look at what's embroidered on the front. Damn. Damn. 
Oh, wow. We think that this may be Tim Curry's cast and crew jacket. For real. So, that's wow. incredible. What a gift. And they're, they're the ones who sent me the ALF jacket, too. So they have a some kind of inside connection. They are remarkable. So, yes. yeah, I um, I free admission to anything I ever do in my life. Uh, <sighs> Brianna and, and Jason, like this is absolutely incredible. And um. You, can, you guys can, if I ever get married, you're invited to my wedding and my funeral, whatever you want to go to. <laughs> come, on, come on over for dinner. Um, are, are you going to wear that jacket or is that just display purposes only? Oh, I'm going to wear this. I want to go to the Red Lobster. I want to go to the steakhouse. <laughs> I will never sell this. I will never get rid of it. You will have okay. to pry it off of my body because I'll be buried in it. If I'm Maybe not. at the funeral that you invite them to, you can wear that. And the at, your open, yeah. at your open casket. Marie and Jason, front row seats to the open casket. That's... Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd like to be taxidermied so I could just like be, you know. Oh, know, put there. it in the will. Put it in the will. We'll make it We'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, so, of course, uh, um, Laura's show Midnight Rental, you can watch it on the channel. The links to the playlist are in the, uh, com or in the description of this show. Caitlin, you can find at the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library Museum. And go to Nancy Fest in May. I think we're going to be there. And McKenna, I put your Instagram link in the uh, description of the show. Follow. Oh, thank McKenna you. And also, McKenna's going to be on pretty soon because you've, you've been working on a magic uh, montage. Yes. Ooh, I'm so excited. With with magicians and with like videos that have the title of like the magic of squirrel calling. That don't oh. doesn't have any actual magic, but it has the magic of squirrel calling. So yes, McKenna's working well, on that. Very Can't sincerely, wait. thank you for coming on for Ladies Night. Let's do this again. That was so great. Yeah. Thanks for having us. You nailed it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right. Let's get some uh, some of the boring parts of the show down. Uh, oh, it's Laura. <laughs> what um, uh, okay. So we have a few announcements. Uh, first of all, we are on tour. We are going to be in Santa Fe this Saturday? This Saturday. Sorry? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Meow at, wolf. At, yeah. So we're excited. We're going to go tour the exhibition during the day. And then um, my folks are coming to that show, too. So, and it's going to be, yeah. And then uh, we're in Florida the week after that. Um, and then a 20th anniversary show. We mentioned it. It's in Brooklyn. That's almost sold out. Get a ticket. And then we're in England. What else? There's some new ones on the calendar, Joe. I don't know if I've yeah, up yet. Yeah. I, I just added, we just added um, uh, Nashville. We're going to be in Nashville. Okay. Yeah, Indianapolis is going to be in June. Nashville is going to be uh, May 16th. It'll be up pretty soon. It's going to be okay. a city winery there. And then, uh, yeah, St. Louis and then Broad Gage. And, yeah. It's going to be fun. Lots of stuff. Next week, though, Joe. Toe Tapping Tournament. So yeah. I'm stoked for this. So I, I forget how we do it every year. I think we have to draft them, and then we do yeah. them. Do we do it in just one episode? Do we just like try to we, knock it all out? We we get it to the final four next week, and then we put it on our Patreon uh, a poll, and the the viewers you will I pick. Like the it, win no, it has to go win. down to the championship, down to two. Oh, okay, so we go down not to down two. the final four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but then we have to have a guest on to be the judge. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, we probably don't have to iron it out right here, right now. Uh, well, this is a, a meeting but for us. I have a I have a toe tapper that I think is going to destroy everybody. I can't mm. believe I've never picked this one before. Okay, you guys are going down. I got so. I got a classic I'm going to show too, uh, and I don't know. My second one's still up for grabs. This Saturday we're watching Sectars. Um, George, we're watching this with Roy Miles, and great toy line along with this one, right? fantastic toys that they're, they're registered in the u.s patent office so don't go out there and try to make your own sectar <laughs> okay. um rewindo our streaming service it's like netflix but with our crummy vhs tapes um we have we now have a section called too hot for youtube we have 16 videos there it's the stuff that like youtube took down uh mm -hmm. that we put up at one time or you know they or, or that they wouldn't even allow so we put it up on a secret site that we stream it from Rewindo. So uh, 16 videos there. You can watch that there. Um, EP mode this Thursday. We got Zach joining us for part two of Deception of a Generation. It's these two uh, religious kooks, uh, and they're talking about like sectars. They're talking about different toys and how evil they are and how uh, Satan created them. That's a fun uh, one. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then, of course, Wednesday night is our newest show. It'll be episode three. All the stuff we couldn't fit in tonight, uh, we will be playing tomorrow night uh, with VCR After Party. Stay tuned for that. 
Uh, and we're going to go out on a, a, a very lady-centric uh, karaoke video. That's all I'm going to say, but I hope everyone will, will sing along. It's in one of those karaoke videos with an incongruous visual to what the song's about. They always do. All right. Until next week, uh, we'll be right back right after that. Uh, if we had been prepared, we could have done better. Don't forget to send uh, in your uh, opportunity to win a uh, Hero Clicks starter set or one of their other good things that they're going to give away. Uh, my nose isn't fully yuck anymore. Cheerio. return, Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a... My nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Cheerio. Have a good day. Sizzler. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. Good luck from all of us at Hagen. And Kurt Polstad, the real great guy. Thank you very much for being here, and God bless you very much. Nice, nice. Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.